Thank you for tuning in to this special edition of the Vulcan Report. This report is for June the 22nd, Wednesday, 2016. The title of this video is Brexit and the Sham of Democracy. It is to be noted that although the Brexit vote is scheduled to take place this week, that in a nutshell, the votes are not binding. This proves the sham of democracy that the nations of the West are known for. You have the idea of democracy, but denying the power thereof. In other words, you have a popular vote. You allow the people to vote, but their votes don't matter. Their votes don't count. At the end of the day, the power structure, the powers that be, the government decides what it's going to do. It will listen to the people just to get an idea of what the general consensus is, and then it makes a decision for itself. It gets to decide what it wants to do. The people have no voice. The people have no choice. The vote is not binding. Just like in America, the United States, the popular vote does not matter. Every American citizen that votes can vote for one candidate and that candidate still not be elected in the office okay because what matters the power structure the power structure decides what it wants to do you can call that power structure electoral college or whatever you want to call it doesn't matter the power base gets to decide what it wants to do for itself and it's never going to vote against itself it's not going to do anything to hurt itself. The elite are not going to tax themselves. They're going to tax you and I. So, at the end of the day, the Brexit vote does not matter. What matters is what the power structure decides it wants to do. Right now, everything is being priced into the market for them to stay. And what do we know about markets? Markets like to do what is going to hurt the most people. So if everyone is thinking that they're going to stay, and if all the voters vote for them to stay, and the markets rally a little bit, understand there will be an utter collapse in the markets if it goes the opposite way, and we have a Brexit. If we have a Brexit, you can understand that there will be turmoil in the market. Now, I want to show you something in this uh, this is the pound sterling chart. I want you to take a look at it. Notice that we've already been in a bear market. See, bear market is red. See our little red bear in the excuse me bottom right hand corner. And you notice too, it's been in this long, this prolonged period of downtrend. But technically speaking, it was pulse wave positive for a couple of weeks. Now it's starting to pulse wave negative again it's starting to to uh, to resume the downtrend and break support lines only to be pushed back up again alright so you have a mixed scenario the long-term trend is down you see we're below the Kumo cloud you see negative momentum starting to pick up here alright hence this red line here alright and you're starting to build one of these situations where it extends out it locks in okay like it did back here we locked in prices went down okay the thing to be noted about this whole brexit thing too when you're looking at the pound sterling is that unlike the US dollar you don't see it's as much intervention into this particular currency they will allow this thing to drop like a rock and there's not that much intervention like you have in the dollar um, overall this used to be the world currency it's not anymore hasn't been for quite a long time and you can see they just let it rip they let anything happen here look at this they let anything go anything happens doesn't matter nice steady uptrend here and right now we find ourselves here so what does this all mean well 
if you want to look at some of the technical aspects of this you're going to want to go ahead and go to the blog too much to read here uh, in this quick video but all the technicals uh, with the pulse waves the weekly pulse waves all that is on the blog you can see uh, where the uh, the buy triggers are and the sell triggers you can see where we're at so you probably do well to take a look at that and do so at your uh, at your own leisure but just uh, understand that right now the market is um, in a possible situation where it can um, it can break out if they stay but understand that the forces are so negative right now in this that it almost doesn't matter what they do it's gonna go down uh, again you see this negative momentum starting to come up so trade with your own risk on that one but again the brexit vote is not binding so we have another example of a sham of democracy remember bulls make money bears make money and pigs get slaughtered so take what you can give nothing back